Sukte, Kite, Jin Song, Dong Biem, Biem Su all grow up together in the same orphanage called the Songji Orphanage. The orphanage's chief director was a man named Lee Myung Taek. His son, Im Hyung Taek, helped around. The quintet is a crazy bunch. Sukte is the maddest. He frequently sees a monster that is out to get him. This is his inner demon. Hyung Taek asks Sukte to pray to make the monster go away. But praying doesn't help him. Sukte decides to let his inner monster loose. Hyung Taek likes a girl in the orphanage, Young Ju. Sukte fancies her too, but she doesn't reciprocate. Sukte sexually assaults her and chops off Hyung Taek's leg. Sukte is free of his monster as he has become his monster. He's taken to jail, years pass, and the quintet are now living together. Sukte has kept Youngju enslaved. The quintet goes by the name of Daybreakers, and they go around committing all kinds of crimes. Im Hyung Taek is now married and has a son, Gun Young. It is not mentioned why, but the Daybreakers decide to kidnap his son and hold him for ransom. But Im Hyung Taek informs the cops, and they try to take down the Daybreakers in an undercover operation. This is the scene in the train. The Daybreakers have the contact of a dirty cop who gives them this information. The covert operation fails, and the boy is brought back home with the quintet. Sukte decides to keep the boy and raise him as their own child. Fourteen years pass, the boy has been named Wei and grows up with five fathers and an oppressed mother. He's being trained to become an assassin too. Wei is plagued by his inner demon because of who he's growing up with. Sukte is not Wei's real father. Monsters in the film are merely inner demons. The daybreakers are still untouchable. The dirty cop calls with a job for them. He wants a house cleared for a powerful CEO. Coincidentally, the residents of the home happen to be Im Hyung Taek and his wife. They don't want to vacate the house as they hope their son will make it back there one day. The quintet knows who their hit is and Sukte purposely involves Wei. They order the child to enter the supposedly abandoned house if anyone was still there or not. They break into the house and when I'm Hyung Taek returns, they beat him up. Sukte hands Wei a gun and forces him to shoot. While Wei initially hesitates, he shoots and kills him Hyung Taek, not knowing it is his own father. From the house, he also picks up a photo and some flyers of a missing child. On conversing with Youngju and snooping around a little, Wei finds out that the man he killed was his real father. He saves his mother from committing suicide, admits her in a hospital and heads off seeking revenge. He kills one of the daybreakers. The rest go after him but lose him. Wei calls them all to Songji Cement Factory. He also writes a letter to the evil CEO guy's men to show up an hour before, when both groups land up at the factory, they get into a feud. Wei positions himself at a high vantage point and snipes the opposition. Soon everyone is dead except for Sukte and Wei. Sukte receives a tip from the dirty cop about the mother who is admitted to the hospital. He heads there. Wei follows. At the hospital, Sukte reveals the story all the way from the orphanage to the kidnapping to raising the kid. After this, he kills her and goes back home. Wei reaches the hospital too late. He goes home to confront Sukte. The detective who's been after the daybreakers is also there. The three of them have a standoff. Sukte proves to Wei how becoming the monster makes it go away. Sukte kills the detective as he's about to kill Youngju. Wei kills him. Wei shot him because he was going to kill his mother who also raised him. He shot it twice.
He smiled slightly and cried because he was able to shoot it. The monster inside him was over as well. Because his son is now the monster he always wanted him to become. The last target was the CEO, the one who ordered the killing of his parents. He positioned himself in the high rice building, shot the target and left. A greedy person is the poorest person in the world. The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injuries.